Right below our color picker heading, we're going to add seven divs, one for each of the color options we want to give. We're going to give each div a class colors so that we can style the shared properties such as width and height. We'll also give each div an ID matching its color so that we can style its unique property, the background color. Hopping over to features.css, we'll set the class styles. Each little color chip should be 30 by 30 pixels. We'll temporarily set a border just so that we can see the divs. We want the cursor to turn into a pointer when they're hovered so that the user knows they're clickable. We'll set the divs to float left so that they line up in a row, and we'll give them each a small margin right so that there's some white space between them. Previewing what we have so far, we can see that it looks pretty good except that our next heading is trying to float up next to the last div. To fix this, we'll drop in a div below our chips and give it a class clear fix. This class is defined in the main.css file already, and it just has a clear both property set to prevent future elements on the page from floating up. Much better. Now let's use the ID selector to give each chip a color. We'll also remove the border. Previewing our results, everything looks good. Nothing happens when we click on our little divs, so we'll take care of that in the next step.